Hey guys, Shane Storms with DroidModerX.com. Today we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the Hyperdrive ROM by Esprit 94 and the entire Deviant development team. This ROM is packed full of goodies and extra customizations. There's probably way too much for me to cover here. If you head over to the XDA thread, you'll see what I'm talking about. It is a page that you will have to sit there and scroll through just to see all of the options that are, are available. It comes with the Aroma installer, which we'll get to towards the end of the video where you can choose how you want your ROM. Um, everything is totally customizable here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this ROM review. So you guys can see just how quick this ROM is. It's flying through the home screen. Esprit 94 has really tweaked this thing to perfect optimization. The battery's been optimized. Of course, performance of the ROM has been optimized. Everything flows very fluidly. Uh, you're not going to have any kind of lag whatsoever when you run this ROM. It is incredibly fast. So I ran some Quadrant benchmark tests, and I was pretty surprised at the results. This is a dual-core processor phone, and we're getting scores that are similar to quad-core processor phones. So this 5,825 score that you see here, that actually beats the score that I got on my Note 2 running the Chameleon OS ROM that we covered on Tuesday. So that's really, really impressive considering that the uh, CPU is not overclocked or anything. Battery life has been great with this ROM. As you can see, I've only had it unplugged for about 36 minutes. It's at 94%. But also the screen has been on for this entire filming of the video. So you can see that the screen's been on the entire time at full brightness and we're still at 94%. So that's really not bad at all for this ROM. So next we'll head into the settings and about device and see what we're working with. As you guys can see, we're running Android 4.1.2. That is the latest version of Android for the Galaxy S3. And of course, we're running Hyperdrive Release 12 by S Marine. So this does come with ROM control, which includes tons and tons of features. Uh, like I said earlier, there's so many features to cover. So we'll go ahead and get started with that. In my settings, you have the three minute settings. You can set your status bar color. I'll go ahead and change it to blue just to show you guys real quickly. And then you can put it back to transparent if you like that instead. Of course, you can change your center clock, turn that on or off. And all of these changes happen on the fly. You can also disable the 23 toggle mod and re-enable that there. And there are several other settings included as well. One of the big features is the multi-window control. Now, this is not just a standard multi-window control like you would find on the stock Galaxy Note 2. This is a modified multi-window control, and it includes all applications that are on your device. Of course, you can edit this as well, so if there's some that you don't want and others that you do want, you can go into the settings and modify that under the ROM control. You have a lock screen customizer. Now, you can choose the screen lock swipe there, and that allows you to change the security options. And then under the lock screen options, you can choose from seven different lock screens. There's also an ink effect that you can enable for the lock screen. Once you enable that, it will give you an ink, a colored ink effect whenever you unlock your screen. There's a My UI Battery Bar setting. If you're into that sort of thing, all you have to do is enable it, and you guys saw it pop up real quickly there. Next, we'll hop into the UI customizations. You have Notification Toggle Changer where you can choose your widgets of choice. You can also change the order of those widgets. An LED control is included here so that you can change the color of the LED for each individual notification. You can add extra applications and change their notification color. Custom Framework Installer allows you to change the system UI of your device as well as the per app DPI. It allows you to change it from hybrid mode to tablet mode to phone mode, which is pretty neat. Then, of course, you have Pi Control, which has become very popular in most ROMs. We first saw it in Paranoid Android. And it's a nice addition to this ROM as well. The icon changer allows you to customize the app icon images for each individual app icon. Display settings, audio settings, and app settings wrap up all of the features in the ROM control box. But trust me, there's several more to cover in the Aroma installer, which we're just about to get to. Hyperdrive includes a boot animation reminiscent of the Millennium Falcon entering Hyperdrive. And what more would you expect from the creator of the Jedi X-ROM? 
There are several wallpapers to choose from, including the Hyperdrive wallpapers and the Xperia Z wallpapers, as well as just stock AOSP wallpapers. Uh, at any rate, there's plenty of wallpapers to choose from to customize your phone to your liking. This happens to be one of the most customizable ROMs for the Galaxy S3 today. In case you're wondering, Wi-Fi tethering has been enabled on this ROM. Now that we've covered the ROM in depth, let's go ahead and reboot the phone and install this ROM. You'll want to pay attention to the installation of this ROM since it does include lots and lots of extra features in the Aroma installer. This ROM will install just fine on Team Win Recovery Project or Clockwork Mod Recovery. Of course, first you'll want to start with your wipe. So you'll wipe data, you'll wipe cache, and then you'll wipe Dalvik cache. Once all your wipes are complete, you'll go back and install Zip from SD card, choose Zip from SD card, and then you'll locate it in your download folder. You're looking for a hyperdrive or at least 12. You're not going to have to install any Google applications since those will install in the Aroma installer. So after a few seconds, you'll hit this screen. Of course, you'll choose your language. And then you can check the change log. Like I said, there are so many features that have been added over time to this ROM. Way too many to list. Uh, you'll choose your carrier. All carriers are covered. Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile, and AT&T. Of course, here you will choose your launcher. Then you can choose your Samsung applications. Galaxy S4 applications are included. So you can choose those if you like. Next, you can choose the type of email. I prefer AOSP email. Here you can choose HTC Sense options. You can choose your file manager. You can choose your AOSP Nexus 4 options. I like all of the AOSP applications, so I'll just go through and install them all. Then you can choose your Google applications. Next, you can choose Sony Xperia applications. I'll just skip that. Then you can choose a music player. You can choose your keyboard of choice. You can choose ROM mods. I'll go with the 50% louder volume hack. Then you can choose your audio quality mods. Then there are some additional apps to choose from here. Next, there are a couple of social applications that you can choose from. I'll grab Twitter and XDA. Then you can choose your boot animation. You can choose your theme, Galaxy S4, Sense 5, Sony Xperia, and Jelly Bean themes are included. Lastly, you'll choose a kernel, and then you'll click Next for the install. Give it a few minutes to install. Then when you arrive to this screen, you can click Next and reboot your device. That about wraps it up for the Hyperdrive ROM review. I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to click that like button. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.